and in the animals chapter i first told you the five types of animals depending on the basis of their food habits so they are classified into five one two three four five first one is herbivore carnivore omnivore uh, your scavenger and your parasites actually there is one more category that is decomposers okay decomposers that i'll explain so coming to first herbivores one year what is herbivores ma'am these are plant eating animals exam but they eat branches fruits roots leaves etc an example like cow deer pratyush what are carnivores so they are plant eaters carnivores no carnivores eat flesh of animals Other, yes flesh of animals can you give any example and lion and tiger good aditya what are omnivores yes ma'am what are omnivores omnivores are uh, flesh the animals that eat flesh and plants yes flesh and plants can you give any example hyena 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 deer dog human beings coming yes. to scavengers akash so what are scavengers scavengers hmm. man is is that animals they are eating like dead animal yes dead and left over animals they eat that examples of scavengers example of scavengers like hmm. eagles hmm vulture bird yes coming to parasites and what pigeons. are yes what sell parasites Ma'am, uh, parasites um, are a paras. You have not revised. Please revise from next time. It should not happen. Okay, Vatsal. Yeah. Okay, you need to answer. Okay, revise it. Don't take, uh, create a bulk for you. Yes, Neha. What are parasites? Sneha. Yes, ma'am. What are parasites? You know? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Then you I don't understand because I were absent in previous class. So you see the recording, Sneha. Then only you will understand, okay? okay because previous three classes we have covered three or four, so you need to see the recording. Then only you will understand. Okay. okay? Yes, Aditya. What is parasites? parasites are the animals that feed on other's blood yes feed in, they live in or on the body of the host and they feed on the blood they have sucking they have sucking parasites they have sucking tubes into their mouth with that they can suck the blood okay and uh, these are parasite like your leech mosquito these are the examples of parasites coming to the next term that is decomposers what are decomposers we say decomposers a statement is there that decomposers clean the environment why we say this statement decomposers clean the environment now what are decomposers so decomposers these are the animals which that eat the dead and decaying matter dead and decaying animal for example if there is a, a dead dog or dead cat on the road okay after one or two day you will see that the dog is not there yes or no or it will be there for years it will not be there yes so what is happening where it has gone so there are small small organisms known as decomposers which these decomposers are like bacteria 
mushroom these are the decomposers which decompose the dead matter okay decompose it and mix it with the soil so that is why you feel it is vanished clear so decomposers are very very small animals small organisms that decompose or degrade the dead and decaying animals for example bacteria mushroom these are decomposers clear then we have done food chain if you remember in food chain i told you that one animal is eating the other there is a flow of energy in the food chain what is happening in the food chain a flow of energy is there the always food chain starts from the producers what are who are the producers plants are the producers why producers because they are producing the food they are making the food they are producing food so plants are the producers they are eaten by the herbivores like the deer now deer is eaten by the lion which is a carnivore and then it is eaten or they by a scavenger like if it is dead eagle and then the last will be decomposer is that clear to everyone food chain which we have done in previous class now come to what we have done is their homes that the all the animals have their homes which provide all the favorable conditions for them favorable conditions means like the environment they find food there there is shelter that home protects them from enemies and also protect them from harsh weather conditions yes this all we find in our home also and same animals are also finding in their own homes so homes like ant they live in ant hills they form ant hills the birds they make nests and lays eggs in that your uh, your tiger and the lion live in den the dog lives in kennel the cow lives in shed the spider makes a web yes bee lives in beehive that is chhatam like rabbit lives in burrow so these are their homes where several animals they are living in different types of homes like monkeys they live on trees okay that is why they are known as arboreal animals the animals which live on trees are known as arboreal animals this all we have covered in the previous class now comes we are starting about different types of animals okay now we are starting with the next topic yes akash ma'am one more animal is living in tree that is bird yeah yeah there are many there is making they, the nest there are many there are many yes so this all we covered in the previous class now we are starting with the different types of animals so there are different types of animals for example like you have birds yes if we see the features of the birds they have feathers yes maybe colorful feathers also they have they have a sharp beak they have claws they have toes in front of the claws to catch the prey and also they lay eggs so the lay eggs the animals that lay eggs is known as om oviparous animals the animals that lays eggs are known as oviparous animals okay they are also called warm blooded what is the meaning of warm blooded 
see what happens there are some animals that going to another if we shift them to another temperature they may die like we we can go at any place yes we can survive at any area any place so we are warm blooded warm blooded means our internal body temperature does not change with the external temperature clear internal body temperature remains the same it is not like that if we are going to the countries where there is temperature in minus degree internal temperature of our body will also move in minus will it be that no our internal body temperature is always maintained that is warm blooded animals internal body temperature is maintained that is known as warm blooded animals clear then there are our birds there are mammals what are mammals mammals are the animals which give birth to young ones which give birth to young ones they are known as viviparous animals oviparous i told you which lays eggs viviparous which give birth to young ones like human beings mammals are also warm blooded clear coming to your reptiles what are reptiles like your crocodiles lizard these are reptiles okay they they have four limbs they have hind limbs okay which do not support their body weight so they crawl crawl understand how crocodile crawls on the land their body is covered with scales they are cold blooded now what is the meaning of cold blooded can anyone just think of it warm blooded i told you what is the meaning what is cold blooded ma'am can i uh, you have to raise the hand digitally sneha and then i'll ask you this is the thing Yes. Now you are can answer. Ma'am, warm blooded is that keep that cannot decrease, but maybe cold blooded can decrease. Cold blooded can decrease means these are those animals which cannot survive in any condition. It's not that we are taking from their warm condition and we are putting them in very very cold condition and they will survive. They will no. They will die. okay they will only adjust where they are living they are cold blooded animals means their internal body temperature will change with that of environment clear that is cold blood come to uh, m reptiles then is amphibians What are amphibians? Can anyone tell me what are amphibians? If you have heard the word, yes, Watson. Sneha, hands down. If your thing is over, you need to keep your hand down. Okay. Amphibians, yes, Aditya. Amphibians are those animals that can live on land and water. Yes, which lives on land as well as water, like frog. Example is frog. Amphibians are also cold blooded. Ma'am, crocodile is also salamander, crocodile. Crocodile, crocodile, yes, salamander, crocodile. These are all the examples of amphibians. Clear? Mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fishes. So, what are fishes? Fishes they have a streamlined body. Streamlined body means like this. narrow from front and back and broader in the middle okay this is broader in the middle and narrow from front and back this is known as streamlined body okay broader okay and they have gills to breathe everyone knows that and also they have scales on the body 
like this. Okay, these are the scales. And also the fishes, they lays eggs, but dolphin and whales, they give birth to young ones. They give birth to young ones. These are the characteristic features of different type of animals. Ma'am, please don't erase. Okay, okay, okay. I'm waiting. So these are all the features of the different type of animals. Fishes, fishes are also cold-blooded. Ma'am, you can erase. Okay. Anyone else who is left? Um, wait. Okay, okay. I'm giving one more minute. Please be fast. I'm deleting now, okay? Okay. Let's move on now to the slides. Okay, see the animals around us. So there are different animals which we see around us. They have different shape, different sizes, different color, different type of nutrition, body covering, where they live, how they reproduce. Can you see here the ways they reproduce? Some lays eggs while some give birth. Understood now? Some lays eggs are known as oviparous animals, which give birth to young ones are known as viviparous animals. Animals, they require food, water, air, and the, all the classified as mammals, which I explained you, amphibians. I also explained you, Pisces, that are fishes, a special type of fishes, reptiles, insects, and birds. Here, this is the category which we are going to discuss. Coming to mammals. So mammals, you can see that it is written, they include animals which give birth to young ones. Examples are there in front of you. They have four legs and are also four-footed animals. You can see all the animals which are giving birth to the young ones. They are having four your footed animals. Then they, most mammals, the mammals have hair on their body and a tail. Clear? They have hair on their body and also a tail. You can see that the animals 
and one bird which is a mammal is an exception that is bat bat is an example of a bird which give birth to young ones also their body is covered with hair or fur they are warm blooded warm blooded i all explained you that the animals whose internal body temperature do not change with the environment they are warm blooded and have a backbone and produce milk the animals which have backbone are known as vertebrates are called vertebrates and the animals which do not contain a backbone you know where is your backbone can anyone tell me where is your backbone yes that thing this is your backbone complete backbone Yes, Neha. Ma'am, on the picture, can you move on to the picture? Okay, okay. I'm just doing invertebrates. In invertebrates, example is insects and worms. Yes, ma'am. Here the kitten. They have four legs. A car, and a also called foot. Footed four animals. Animals. So, ma'am, all animals have the four legs. So, all are mammals. No, no. Only those mammals are basic characteristics which give birth to young one. That is the basic character. It's not that all. If all the animals are having four legs, they all will be mammals. This is not the condition. Condition is they have four legs. They also give birth to young ones. These are the characteristics. These all characteristics should match. Then only we will say it is a mammal. Okay. It is not that if you say the only four legs are there, it is a mammal. No, no. Not like that. Okay, all the characteristic features should match. Then only we say it is a mammal. Clear? Mam, the mam in you. So you have told here, um, that in mammals they give birth to young ones. They have yes, four legs, and also their body is covered with hair or fur, and they are warm blooded. They also have backbone. These are all the characteristics of mammals. But ma'am, the animal, a uh, young one is that small brother sister. So, so um, animal give to small. No. Coming to birds, so birds, birds have wings. They include these all things. Birds have wings. I already told you, they have a small head and two sharp eyes. A beak is there. Two legs are there. Two wings are there. Feathers on their body. All birds have ears too. So these are the features of the birds, which I already told you. Yes. Coming to reptiles and amphibians, this also we discussed. Reptiles they crawl on their bellies. Bellies means pet cable on the bell of their stomach. They are crawling. These include lizard, chameleon, tortoise, snakes, and earthworm. They have two short fore limbs and two short hind limbs. Fore limbs are the one in front, and hind limbs are the which are at the back. These are fore limbs and hind limbs. which cannot support their body weight so that is why they are crawling on the ground reptiles they have scales on their body see the crocodile it is having scales on their body these scales they protect them from their enemies okay enemies are predators they protect them from their predators they are cold blooded again the meaning of cold blooded i already told that their internal body temperature is not maintained it keeps on changing with the environment they have a backbone and they lay eggs in hard shell on the land means they are laying the eggs and that eggs are there in the hard shell okay and they lay on land coming to amphibians amphibians they include animals like these which live in water as well as on land they also have four legs and some have webbed feet you know what how is the webbed feet 
hebd feet is like this. See, these are the feet. So a layer of muscle is there between it, which attaches their limbs. This is known as webbed feet, which helps them to swim also. Push the water back and helps them to swim. This is a web feet. These are feet are there. This is a muscles which are joining the feet. Frogs have long hind legs to hop. Hop means kudna, jump. On land, it breathes through moist skin when in water, and with its lung when on land. See what a distinctive feature of frog it's there. It has moist skin which they can breathe in water, and their lungs when on land. Both frogs and toad do not have tails. Amphibians they don't have tails. Yes, uh, Sneha, you want to ask something? Vanya. Uh, Ma'am, I don't understand non-vertebrates. Non-vertebrate, invertebrate, which do not have backbone. Okay, ma'am. Pisces, they are the fishes. These include different type of fishes and they live only in water. They have scales, which I have shown you in fishes. The scales are there, which do not allow the body to, water to stick to their body. They have gills to breathe in water. Insects, they have six legs like mosquito, housefly, bees, cockroaches. They are small in size and they have wings for flying. Each mosquito and housefly has three pair of legs and a pair of wings. So they have three pairs of legs and wings. If the mosquitoes you see, they have head, they have thorax and they have abdomen. This is head. From the head to antennae comes out. This is antennae, which is a sensory organs to smell something. This is thorax and this is abdomen. In thorax comes the three pairs of legs. Okay, these are their three pairs of legs. Special body parts, so we all uh, have studied about these special body parts that bird have wings which are modified forelimbs. Elephant, it has a trunk, special character and also two tusks. Tusks are the white color thing which the people use for decoration also. Camel have the thin, uh, thick skin, okay. Camel have thick skin which protects it from the heat because they are living, camels are living in deserts to protect from heat. They have thick skin and little hairs on the body. Polar bear, which is living in very, very cold environment, they have thick coat of fur. Fur is like hair, small, small hairs, which protects them or keep their body warm. Animals like tortoise, turtle, snail, these have shells on the body, which you have seen like tortoise have shells. Quills, quills are what? Quills like in porcupines. Porcupines have quills. On the, like on the back, they have the quills, like this. Quills is like this structure, which is coming out from its back. These are the structure, quills. Animals. So that one. Yes. On the body, there is a quill. An example is porcupine. Black color animal is there, porcupine. They have quills on the body. Okay. Uh, most of the animals have ears like dog, cat, okay. And uh, birds uh, have tiny holes on both the sides of their head to hear the sound that humans cannot hear, okay? Birds also have small holes, not proper ears like we are having. They have small holes on either side of the head to hear any sound. 